morning everyone welcome back to e plus e i am erica and this is my youtube channel and today we're going to focus on uh jenny and georgia um i'm just gonna for the next few times i, I stream or i post videos upload videos whatever you want to call it i will be mostly focusing on uh mostly focusing on the relationships um, how they how I think they'll evolve um, in season three. Um, today we're going to talk specifically about Georgia, and you know, let's go ahead and talk about what we saw in the ending of the um, season two. So, season two, we saw her being pushed ushered into the police vehicle and taken off to jail. Um, and you know, uh, as I stated before in previous videos. I thought that, um, that was a cute little bird out here. I thought that, um, the ending, that the last, um, the last, um, episode was pretty anticlimactic. I felt like until the last, like, two to five minutes, I guess. It was just like, and I guess that was the feeling that they wanted us to feel because that's what Georgia felt like. Everything flowed so easily. It was so smooth. And in her words, it was just a little too easy. And then we saw Gabriel popping in like, you know, what does he say? Like, you know, I'm paraphrasing. I'm just like, you know, not verbatim, but just like Georgia Miller, we're here. Georgia, well, oh, did he just call Georgia Miller Randolph? Georgia Miller Randolph, we are here to arrest you on murder, on the murder of Tom Fuller. Yeah, you know I'm saying. So, you know. Uh. So, you know, she kind of felt or sensed that something was awry, something was going to go on because, again, she said, it's just too easy. It's just too easy. You know, um, a, a lot of people have that thought process. If it's too easy, then something is going to happen. I think one that that is a little bit of, you know, their makeup, their own makeup, their own genetics, what they've learned over their years of life. And, um, you know, a little bit, I think, <laughs> is the movies. Like, you know, what, what TV is, you know? So, that's just me. Uh, I do it too. I'm not saying I don't. I'm just saying that I think it's a little bit... Um, it's it's what you make it and you know i don't i don't believe in that though i don't believe in it anymore if things are going smoothly things will continue to go smoothly you know i don't think that I, i'm not a believer in one good deed is is another bad deed or whatever they say i don't even know the saying because i don't believe in stuff like that so anyway that's 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 a tangent um what i was saying was that you know, she did not cry, but we know Georgia doesn't really cry anyway. But um, what more importantly, you could see the distress. She was completely distressed in her video in that in that last few scenes. Completely distressed, worried about her kids, worried about her husband, um, worried about everything. So you know, she, I don't think she's ever really been hauled off to jail, or maybe it had been a long time. And she was just really, really fraught. And you can see it. It was very evident. And, you know, you felt for her a little bit. Um, so, I guess I want to just really think about where her relationships are going. Like, where her relationship with her kids, her new husband, his family, the townspeople, even Joe, even Nick. What What's going to happen with that relationship there? So, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So, I think with Georgia... I mean, with Jenny, between Georgia, Jenny, and Austin, specifically Jenny, I think it's, she's just going to have her normal teenage anger and just be glaring at her over them frozen-ass waffles and that fruit. Like, she, because I don't think Georgia's going to be there long. I think, I think by the time we start season three, Paul would have already bailed her out and have her with a good attorney and I think things are going to be moving. I don't think we're going to really... I don't even see, think we're going to see her being bailed out by Paul. I don't know. Shit, maybe it's Joe that bails her out. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but um, I think that we're going to see... I know Austin is going to tell um, Jenny exactly what he saw. 
and Jenny is knowingly going to, this, she's going to believe him, and she definitely will. I mean, there's no reason not to. It's Austin. Come on now. And I think Jenny, or yeah, Jenny's going to go into a protective mode. She's going to be protective of that relationship, you know, of her mother, of course, but even more protective of Austin. And she's going to protect a relationship that she has built herself within Wellsbury. Is it Wellsbury? Within Wellsbury, you know. So she's going to, I mean, because she said it multiple times. It's the first time she's able, she's been able to have kids, been able to be this close to her dad, be able to, to you know, just sit there and be in one spot for such a long time, a significant amount of time. So she knows she wants to protect all those things. And so I think that Jenny will be, will go into a sort of protective mode. Um, and this has kind of been, that's kind of been honed by her over the years. So that's just her. That's how, that's how she does. She just, you know, she'll, she'll question Georgia to the depth. She'll analyze things to the depth. I'm prayerful. I don't think, I, I don't see, um, Jenny herself harming it anymore. This, this, the rest of the series. I don't see it. Um, I just don't see it. And so... I just feel like she will, uh, unfortunately, I do feel like she will kind of indirectly um, push Austin to self-harm. I don't know what, he do, I don't think he'd do the same kind of self-harming, uh, but I think he will unintentionally and she will indirectly affect him with, in this next season. Um. And I don't know if it's because she's not going to fully be there for him like she needs to be. Or, I mean, she's 16. How how much can she be there? She, you know, she loves him. She loves her, her little brother. She loves him. That might as well be her child. Like, she loves him. She's very protective of him. She loves him. And so I cannot, um, but just, I just, I just, for some reason, I feel like she is going to accidentally. Um, I, I, yeah, I just think she'll accidentally kind of just, um, kind of inflict a little self-harm onto Austin. I hate to say that because he's so cute. I love him. Um, but yeah, I think, I think Jenny is going to demand to know why Georgia felt like this was her thing to do. Why she had to do what she did to Tom. You know, Cynthia's husband's ex um, um, father. Like, why does she feel the need to smother and kill him? And um, it's just, it's, it's so sad that Georgia, you know, she has a protective gene in her. However, she uses it very irresponsibly. Um, she doesn't know how to properly um, nurture and love her kids. She just doesn't. Um, she appeases them specifically Jenny because Jenny's older she's more aware of the things that's happened um and she just she doesn't isn't as innocent as Austin is Austin honey when I tell you we need to protect him at all costs because Austin is just he reminds me so much of my older my oldest nephew uh he got the cutest little chubby face and the glasses too and I, you just want to protect them forever, and you just, oh, I just feel so sad for Austin, and I feel sad for Jenny, too, you know, it just, oh, I love Georgia, I love her character, I, I mean, everyone has a sense of wanting to protect her because of how she grew up, but at the same time, she has not learned how to grow up from that grow up. You get what I'm saying? Like, she has to learn how to do that. And so that's important for her to learn how to do. She needs to heal from what she has been through and move on, move past it, because she is harming her children. They feel now that the roles are a little bit reversed, even though um, she's, what, 33 or something like that? It seems like they're being the protectors. They're being the parents. And it should be the other way around. She should protect them in the right way, in a mature, responsible way. She's 30s. She's in her 30s. She got to grow up. She has to grow up. This is, this is really ridiculous for her to be doing these things at this time. Like, I just, uh, I could go off into the whole tangent with her because 
it's a little triggering. Like, like really, how irresponsible can you be, Georgia? Come on now, grow up. <laughs> um, now, what about Paul? Like, do you first of all, do you think Jenny will stay with Paul? Look again, I don't feel like this is going to be. I don't think she's going to be in jail long. I think Paul's going to bail her out. And I think she should be home within a day or two. Um, do you think Jenny was, will run off to stay with her dad? Will she take Austin with her? What if Gil comes and tries to sit there and say, um, my ex, my baby mama is currently, you know, charged with first degree murder of a neighbor. And I feel like it's, it's safer for my son to be with me. What if Gil feels something like that? It's some bullshit. They probably will try it. I don't know. Because, again, um, I know Paul had that conversation with him about trying to get custody of Austin. And so, with that, do you think Gil would try it again, even though Paul has threatened Austin or threatened Gil with this paternity stuff or this child, child, uh, um, child custody stuff? I don't know. I don't know. Um, and... A little bit maybe mayor randolph will feel like okay whatever paul did whatever gil did um it's nothing compared to what you've done and so now i feel like austin needs to spend time with his dad i don't know i also feel like paul will come in more as a father figure versus a husband like he'll come in and he'll get her out of jail so, so, Oh, Georgia, I can't erase this for you, but I'm here by your side. I can see that. I can completely see that, and I can see their roles changing as well. And I feel like Paul will love her to the depths. This is his first marriage, and I'm sure he wants it to be his only marriage. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if he can be down for this whole ride with Georgia. Um, and then also, Georgia has a happiness limit. And so with that, I feel like she will feel like she's not worthy. She doesn't deserve this. This isn't for her. And I feel like she will end up cheating on Paul. I don't know why I'm unfocused all of a sudden. She will probably cheat on Paul, and I think it will possibly be with, uh, um, what's his name? Joe. The coffee guy. Joe. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I don't want that to happen. But if it does, I can understand, or I can't understand, I can see it. Um, I also think that um, Paul's family, his parents specifically, I think he will definitely, um, I feel like he may possibly disassociate from them, but I also feel like her, his parents will step up and say, listen, she's family now, you married her. We're going to take care of this. We're going to sweep it under the rug. We're going to get her the best attorneys, the best law team, the best, um, all, we're going to bail her out, and then you're going to stick by her side, damn it. I can see his parents doing that, like changing the roles. Like, yeah, we don't like her, but at the end of the day, she is our family now, legally, and we're going to protect her. So I, I see that, too, happening, and I just see... Oh, this is going to be a whole mess. It's going to be a whole mess. And then, you know, speaking of Joe a few moments ago, where where are things going to go with her and Joe? Because um, I just didn't know. It just was, uh, why did they wait until the last episode or two um, for her to acknowledge him in that capacity? To, to sit there and say, Oh, yeah, I do know. I remember this. You know what it is. Whatever else she said, like, you know, the, the shades or sunglasses, the, the, the milkshake, the horse named milkshake and things like that. It's like she gave no clue. It's like she, I remember when he, when um, Joe said to her that he had a, a horse named milkshake, she kind of did one of these. I almost like, hmm, that's an interesting name. Versus it being, um, I don't know why this isn't focusing, but we'll see how it looks when it's, uh, see how it focuses right there, but when I move my hand, anyway, 
I'm not worried about it. Um, <clears throat> so when she, yeah, she says that to him, it's like, or when he, when she realized that he said Milsha, she said to his response, her response was, um, that's an interesting name, cute, whatever it was, it was just like, has she forgotten that she wanted to name her, have a horse and name that horse Milsha? What was it? What was it? And it just, it completely baffles me where or why, actually, why Georgia chose to not acknowledge Joe. It, I'm completely baffled by that. Um, so is it someone she needed to have in her back pocket? You know, does she need to, does she feel like she needed to have him in her back pocket just in case? Um, Paul was like, no, nah, girl, I can't do this with you. Is that what it was? I don't know. Um, we'll see. We'll see about that one, too. Um, and then, you know, I do think Gil would be a whole sleaze ball, a slime ball, a whole snake. And say, and try to go and get Austin. And try to really um, <laughs> expose Georgia for what she is and what she's done. And, um, you know, and it just, you know, I, I hate that he's going to have the upper hand in this relationship yet again. Um, and cause I don't, I honestly don't think that Austin, Austin deserves to have a Paul or a Zion in his life. Um, and, but you know, at the end of the day, I still do think Georgia loves them and I think she'll do anything for them, anything under the sun. Actually, uh, I decided to sign for them. <laughs> like she, she will. She just goes hard for her kids. Like I say, I don't think it's in the best way. But I understand. And I understand her love for them. I understand why. And I understand all that th all those things. So that's that. That name's that. But um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where her relationship with Nick is going to be either. Because... Um, I wonder what that conversation was like with Nick and Gabriel. I, I mean, we did see Gabriel telling, um, telling him, um, oops, sorry guys. Um, we did see Gabriel telling him, uh, who he actually was, why he was there and things like that. So, uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. I want to see, I want to see, okay, Sorry. It was a slight delay. I still see a very slight delay, but we're going to just keep going. Anyway, um, I don't even know what I was saying. I just know that I feel like, um, I want to know what that conversation, that's right. I want to know what that conversation included, what else was said between Gabriel and Nick. Because Nick said to him, or yeah. Gabriel, the PI, started telling Nick, hey, this is what I'm here for. This is who I really am. I don't even know if, the, if he is uh, a homosexual. I don't know if he gay. I don't know. Um, and so that'll be interesting. Is Nick interested or is Gabriel interested in Nick now that he's been there doing what he's been doing? I don't know. I don't know why Gabriel had to take that tag, that tag with him like why did he have to why did it have to be nick why did why couldn't it have been someone else why couldn't it have been another a different scenario um so i don't know i feel like the townspeople and uh, i won't be mad at this i feel like they'll just sit there and be like you know what who are you who are you coming into our town sir you're not welcome here get out I could see it be being real cowboy westerny, getting out, getting him up out of town kind of deal. Yes, honey, I'm here for that if it does happen. I mean, it's not, but it's just it's funny to think about. <laughs> My mom watches a lot of westerns, and I see it quite a bit. So you know, it'd be it'd be so funny if that that scenario did happen. I'm sorry, I go off into a tangent sometimes. Um, but yeah, so it's just. I'm really, I'm really, I want to see how things really progress come season three when it comes to Georgia, how her relationships are going to 
go if they're gonna just be like, no, we ain't coming to you. It seemed like Newsberry or uh, Wellsbury um, really had her back. Like, girl, we got you. We got you. We ain't gonna let this happen. We gonna get you up out of there and we'll see you in a minute. We gonna get you the best attorney. In fact, we gonna get somebody to prove that you didn't do it. You ain't going to court. You ain't going for no judge. Girl, we got this. We gonna have this stuff to submit. That's how I felt. That I feel like that was really right or die for Georgia. And that's what I'm saying. Like, she weaves a web wherever she goes, but she also gains a lot of people. She almost like her own little cult. People just flock to her. She have them tied up or wrapped around her fingers. And again, I love me some Georgia. I love the character. I love her background. I love her story. I enjoy people that are like her um, in real life. Because there are a lot of people like her in real life. Um, but it's just you know, ugh, girl, can you do this another way? Is there a different way? Is there a better way? Is there a more uh, kosher way to do this? Like, what? Uh, why does it have to be such so each time? It has to be some kind of trickery behind everything you do. And it's just, girl, come on now. Come up out of there. You 30. Come up out of there. Come up out of there. So, that's where I'm at with things. Um, let me know how you feel about everything. You know, don't forget to like don't for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, we do like those likes. We do like the subscribers. I want to put out new content at least once a week for now. Um, because at this point, um, there are, there's not, none of the shows I'm think I'm talking about are like really, um, on air right now, I guess it would be on air. Nothing is streaming live right now. Like everything is just at a standstill. Um, we're still waiting on. I haven't gotten any updates about Jenny and Georgia, so that's that. I mean, they just ended up like a month or two ago. Um, I haven't. I mean, um, only Murders in the Building has gotten some updates. That's good. That's refreshing. I can keep that content going. Wednesday, no updates with them yet, um, but. You know, that's, that's to come. And, um, but yeah, I just want to be able to kind of dive into some of the main characters, the more permanent characters. Um, so, you know, this is where I'm at with Georgia. And what do you guys feel? What do you guys feel her relationships are going with each individual? What are her more permanent relationships? I do want to say with Zion, I don't have no theories about Zion. <laughs> I just wanted to mention his name. He's so fine, girl. He's so fine. Lord, I'm amazing. He's so fine. So, I just wanted to say that and put that out there. Um, but, yeah. So, I mean, again, I don't have... This is nothing. This is nothing. It's just my thoughts, my theories. It's my feelings. I don't have I mean, any kind of concrete evidence. This is what? This is this is me, a little old girl from the city that's talking. Well, a little old grown girl from the city that's talking. And giving her thoughts on what she thinks is going to happen next season in Jenny and Georgia with each character. So, again, I'm going to try to post videos at least once a week regarding um, Jenny and Georgia and their characters. And then I'll post updates as frequently as I can about all the other shows that we're doing. If you have any shows that you would like me to, uh, that you think I may be interested in or that you would like me to discuss as, as I'm discussing with all the shows that we're doing now, let me know in the comments. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Big E. That's it. Simply Big E on Twitter. On Instagram, you can find me at E plus E. YouTube, E, the word plus, the letter E, and the word YouTube. Um, and uh, that's pretty much where I'm at with social media. I don't do a lot of social media. I do, I mean, I, don't, I haven't even promoted my YouTube channel on social media. So, but yeah, definitely follow me. Uh, um, all those platforms. Follow me here on YouTube. I will follow back. I do interact with you all if you need me to, if you ask questions and things like that. I have no issue with that. And just let me know if you feel like it's something else you want me to watch or discuss and I will definitely do it. You know, me in there. Okay? I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.